That is a really short song. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's time to go to the next, uh, time to go to the Namco Museum again. We got Namco Museum Volume 2 here at the ready. Um, almost at the ready. Hold on, I gotta... God, how do I do this again? It's been kind of a while since I did Ducks, since I did, um... I was in Duck Station. Okay. Um, there's my folder. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Where is Namco Museum Volume 2? What? It's not there? It's not being identified. Hold up. Um, let me just start disk. Oh, no, not that. This is, this is weird. It's not... It's not, like, identifying the game. Yeah, start file. Do the Okay, there we go. I think I got it working. Ah. I think like back back when we were doing Busta Busta Groove, it didn't it didn't um identify that off the bat as well. So yeah, same intro, but should be a little different when we get to the animation or did I queue up the right one I'm pretty sure I did hold on or is it just to say no I accidentally queued up what Yeah, no, I was like, did I put the right game on? I guess I didn't. Start file. Oh, yeah, I, I did put on the wrong one. Okay. Um... Open this. Okay, let's see. Okay, I should have it right this time. <laughs> it's about to be like we had the same thing. Oh, there we go. There's my boy. There we go. At least we get like a loading screen here instead of nothing. Yeah, that was Super Pac-Man, that's in this collection. We also got Xevious. Drop a bomb on him, hurry! Oh, hello! God, that thing looks so retro. <laughs> Was was gray though, not white. Oh, 
Oh no, he's getting captured. I think Mappy is the mouse's name. Oh, it's pulling them all into the Namco Museum, of course. Awesome. Alright, yeah, here we go. The, the title screen looks pretty much the same except for the number. <laughs> but, let's get into it. I always thought that it was the mouse's name. I guess we'll see in the exhibit, right? I'm gonna go straight to, straight to Mappy. Like I'm at a I'm at a theme park and I'm go I get like first dibs on what attraction I get to go into. There we go. So does this look relatively the same? I think it's at a different time of day. So yeah, let's go in. Yep, okay. This looks relatively the same. Well, except for, you know, the games. But yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go straight to Mappy. This came out like a year or like half a year later than the last game. So there's our brochure. Got a bit more to scroll initially. And I like the difference that we have Mappy bouncing around. There's the pop card. We know what those are now. Namco postcards. Oh, see right there. Calls him Mappy, so we <laughs> confirmed. Confirmed. Stationary scent. Letter paper envelopes that were sold years ago at game centers in Japan. Underlay? What, was this like a desk droid or something? Looks like a Dorbs. It's like one of those knockoff vinyl figures to compete with Funko. With Funko Pops. Alright. Collecting items. Yep. The Mukies. Ah, uh, I know, I know, I know how to play Mappy. You don't need to tell me twice. I just hope that I still have the skills to show it off. Alright, instructional booklet. We also did a little tinkering with the um, with the settings and should be running like running a bit faster. Or like, you know, loading. So and there's a little less dead air. Yeah, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna immediately die. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Alright, let's look at our sprites. Nyam? Nyamko? Oh my god. It's Namco with a Y. That's so stupid. Uh, the coins, the stereo TV, computer, safe. Musical note. Oh yes, the microwaves. Hurry. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the microwaves. They're not actually from microwaves, they come from the doors. Oh, let's just see the, um... Take the items stolen by Nyamko and the Mukis while avoiding their attack. Collect all the items and go to the next round. Mappy was released in 1983. The gameplay was simple and had an interesting features like attacking the cats with the doors and bells. It also had bonus stages. Oh, look at this. We got stories now. Chase while being chased in this, f in this funny cats and mouse pursuit game. 
Mappy, the heroic police mouse, is chasing the Nyamko and Mukis. Mukis, and you followed them to their hideout. There were many expensive items stolen by the cats. What a strange house with no stairs and only trampolines. Don't let the Mukis catch Mappy, or they will eat him for lunch. We don't get to see that. That'd be too graphic. Even for back in the day. Alright, what's behind here? Taking its time. I might just revert the settings if, like... <laughs> something happens here. Oh no, is it stuck? Oh no, we had all that hype. God damn it. <laughs> Off to a great start. Off to a great start. Hold on. I can fix this. Okay. Let's put that at... There. It's too... It's too, What... The sights that we were seeing were too epic to... To, like... For the naked eye. I guess. We'll go at some normal, normal load times now. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking up so bad. I'm sorry, guys. And just when we were about to play my favorite game ever. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, you saw on the sprite, he looked, he looked more gray, like a gray mouse, than a, a white one like this. Okay, we should be all right though. It should have saved, uh, you know, our name put in. We'll just be in the company of, you know, small Pac-Man. At least they let you run in the museum. Ah, here we are. No music, though. Just lagging a little bit. Hmm. Up. Oh. Picture of Pac Man. This might be something with my files. Let me look at something again. I just want to make sure. That seemed uh, that seemed like oddly laggy when we entered there. I think I might be missing something. Professional streamer moment, I know, but you 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 get to spend more time with me, right? <clears throat> That's entertaining enough, right? I gotta clear my throat.
I was muted that entire time. I, I, I was just... <laughs> Okay, maybe it was best best that she didn't hear me. I was making some really shitty jokes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Oh, we're having some good ar good arcade times now." Right? And now the now the game is actually getting registered. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. We should be good. Oh. Oh, I can hold the I can move the arrows and that makes him move quicker like up or down huh okay let's see if this if this makes it any better <laughs> I'm once again dangling some possibly okay mappy gameplay over your head. There we go. This is pretty nice. I can't go up the stairs though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's good. It's like bossa nova. Yeah, there's shots from the intro. Did I overclock the PlayStation? Oh no, I, I like accidentally put it in the microwave. Can I beat all of Namco Museum Museum Volume Two before my oven overheats my my play my PlayStation? Oh look at this! Look at this test screen. All right, let's go. Namco presents Mappy. Love this game. So yeah, um, if you ever wondered where. Pac-Man's up special came from in Smash. Uh, it's Mappy. Oh. Oh, I almost had Nyamko. Mm -mm. Get him, microwaves. <laughs> But yeah, it's just like... I don't, I don't know what game it reminds me of. I wanted to... I, I like instinctively wanted to say Popeye, but... Popeye doesn't play anything like this. Yeah, we're getting back the stolen stuff, but it does just look like Mappy's grabbing the shit for himself. And they don't pay me enough for this shit. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we gotta be careful here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hopping Mappy, there's a sequel? There we go. Yeah, there you go. You got, you got to pull back just a little bit. And then if you jump on these enough times, they break. Just like in Smash. I don't know if Hopping Mappy is in these... in this collection. This collection of collections.
And there we go. Mm -mm. Here we go, bonus round. So yeah, we gotta get all the balloons before the music ends. That's the pro strat right there. I actually don't know if it's faster or not. <laughs> that could have been better. We got the big balloon though. Almost got that high score. It will be mine. I just have to not make stupid mistakes. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get on the other platform. And eh, we're still on the board, though. Seriously, a missed opportunity to make it so your initials don't, um, carry over. Yeah, now the city's gonna get destroyed. It's alright, we're going in for round two. I wanna do one more round. I'm definitely not biased. Confidence? Uh, I can... maybe? <laughs> The thing I like about Mappy is that you have to, you have to think about the, um, like, enemy locations constantly. Oh, nice, we got Nyamko there. Oh, fuck. He only counts as a normal enemy when we get him in the... With the radio waves, though. You have to think about stuff. And it, you know, you gotta shut the door right behind you in, in order to protect yourself. There's a lot of thinking, and you would think that it wouldn't work because the screen is so, you know, limited. But that's kind of what I like about it. It keeps you on your toes. In a good way. It's not like some of those, like, bullshit Game Boy platformers we've done. And it's just satisfying getting... ...loads of the... ...Mukies. And they kind of just run right into you. Oh shit, oh shit. Like there, they just ran into me. All right, let's see if I can get this, um, if I can get this bonus round. Oh shit, nope. Nope, uh, nope, I fucked up hard there. <laughs> I, w I was thinking to myself, was it, would it have been faster to drop through? 
that whole time, wow. <laughs> just, a, just a casual little move like that. Oh yeah, you can go up into the roof. The attic too. But it's kind of dangerous up there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, they're, they're smart enough to know not to open the radio wave doors. But, they'll still get hit by a door that opens right in front of them. Good to know. Yeah, I don't know why some some of the doors have radio waves on them. Couldn't tell you. Is is Mappy a mouse cop in Chernobyl? Really? We're doing really good so, so far, though. Wow. I don't know how that got <laughs> that got Nyamco, but I'll take it. Yeah, the theme is great. That's what I loved so much about it when I was playing it when I was younger. Is this a, like it's simplistic. Like imagine if we had something on par with this playing during Pac-Man. And you know, we have the Pac-Man theme. But Pac-Man doesn't really have any music. Well, yeah, yeah, we get it in Pac-Mania, but you know, that would be some time later. Why do I keep dying when there's one left? Okay. Is this the same layout? Mm -mm -mm. Let's not fuck this up this time, Orion. You fucked up enough on stream today. <laughs> Recovered. Once again, leaving behind two balloons, but better than last time. Oh yes, the bells. <laughs> Why was up? Uh, sticky fingers. I hesitated. I hesitated. But yeah, you hit the bells and it just hits everybody in the um like on the trampoline you're on, I remember. Oh, that's fun. I don't know if we're going to find another game that's as good as this one in this collection. Well, we got Super Pac-Man, and I think Gal Plus is here? I haven't uh, played Gal Plus, though. 
But Super Pac-Man's alright. Okay, um... There we go. Same controls. Let's go back to the museum. Look at him go. It's also so charming of <laughs> seeing them just as cutouts. Like they're in a, you know, like a shooting gallery or something. Does Mappy carry? These are important questions we need answered. Okay. Uh, let's do Super Pac-Man. Well, keep in suspense for Gal Plus. So yeah, Super Pac-Man... Yeah, this is where Big Pac came from, exactly. Even though, well, he was in the, the cutscene. You know, the mid-level cutscene in the original. But yeah, this is where, like, I guess, playable Big Pac. And this, this game's alright. This was in that, um, that collection of, uh, Miss Pac-Man on Game Boy Advance that I had. It was Miss Pac-Man and Super Pac-Man. And I would I would mostly be playing Miss Pac-Man, but I played I played um Super Pac a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it it it's fun. We'll get into it. I also thought this was the first game where the keys came from, but I guess those were in original Pac-Man. I just never got that far. Like, is it just an item you can eat? Yeah, just eating keys. Like, this is Binding of Isaac. Gulp. Gulp, uh... Oh, I can't remember, like, a, a key trinket. God, it's been forever since I played Isaac. All right, let's look at the. Let's look how how um how different the motherboard is. I don't know. Put up put up like what the original Pac-Man board looked like. It'd be weird if they included stuff like Pac Plus in in these collections, which is basically like um Pac-Man, but with like a randomizer on it. Memorize which key opens it, which door. Yup. Oh, I tried to get that so badly. Super power pellets. Yep. I never got that. There's, yeah, there's a slots in this game too. I can't escape it. All right, and we gotta look. We gotta look at the how to plays because if they give us, they give us the lore, and we all know we love lore. Super Pac-Man was released in 1982 as a sequel to Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. New features added in this game is eating fruits instead of pellets to proceed to the next round, and the ability to move faster when the super button is pressed. The super button? Do I have a dash? I don't remember that. I also like all this art with him having a... Having, like, a cape on. It's very cute. Wait. Why is... Why is sunny side up... Lowercase. Oh my god, look, there's a Bosconian. Epic reference. 
that I understand now. I never got that far enough to see a Bosconian, but... I now know what those are. It's a bar! Oh my god, I have a- I have an onlooker! Had a little bit too much to drink there, Pinky? Of course, Clyde's man in the bar. My boy. Nothing else to do here. Sadly. We get some interactive elements in the third game, I know. I don't know how many, but I at least remember some. Uh, here we go. I saw- I saw a ghost in there. Oh, there's a couple ghosts. So yeah, here we are. I usually just go for grabbing... ...all the keys first. Just so I don't corner myself. But it's basically just... Just grabbing fruit instead of, um... Instead of, uh, dots. And, you know, swallowing keys whole. Oh! oh. And of course it's Inky. You usually go straight for the supers. Hmm. I always like the supers. It makes the the screen all war warbly. I'm more conservative with my my super my superpower pellets than the normal ones. See, if I didn't turn back there, I would have gotten stuck. There we go, I don't give a shit about ghosts. And I love that it shows that you've broken the door, or, you know, you've eaten it. Oh, Pinky! We gotta get to the bonus round, at least. Oh! Why are they freezing up there? Is that something they normally do, or is that something with the... ...the cabinet? That's weird. It saved me there, though. I shouldn't complain. And here we have to eat the pellets. Alright, donut bonus stage. But it kind of suffers the same issue that Pac-Man has, where there's only one maze. <laughs> Alright, now we're eating burgers. Oh, 
okay. Got a peach. I guess maybe when they freeze, that's their indication that they're gonna get faster. Ooh, nice. Go over here, Blinky. That was pretty good. If I do say so myself. Oh man, we got sunny side up now. Actually, beneficial placement of the the doors there. Oh, it's really obnoxious. Okay, good. Stop. Score? God damn. The Super Pac-Man world is really, um... High stakes. Alright. Well, I hope I didn't disappoint you, little... Servbot ghost. Okay. Let's do Gal Plus now. I'm curious. Get through the ones that I, I, I know some about before we get to the new stuff. Like, we'll do Xevious after this. Xevious has a great, like, intro... Melody as well. Honestly, a, a lot of these games games do. Thinking like Galga and stuff. Just something good that Namco was good at. So it looks like we're gathering pieces for the ship. That's cool. I like upgrades. And you know that these little pop things, they're put right at the top of the machine so you can see them over all the others. Get your attention to go put your quarters in. Mm. Not too fancy looking PC board there. All right, what what tips do you have for me? A new player to the Gal Plus scene. The queen with the blaster head. Shoot down the blaster head while in flight, and your command will be combined with the blaster head. You shoot the blaster head in formation, it will disappear. Okay. Use the phalanx beam to capture up to six enemies. Okay. Extra firepower when killed when exposed. The build a fighter. Sometimes the queen will carry a piece of the fighter. Shoot the queen while in flight to get a piece. Okay. So we can upgrade ourselves and get other, like, get Galagas on our side. Cool.
Any additional lore I should know about? Your mission is to kill all the enemies and go to the next parsec. Oh, wonderful. Compared to all of that instruction that was on Super Pac-Man? Gal Plus was a shooter release in 1984 as Galaga's sequel introduced a new power-up parts system, extended range of the fighter's movement. First, there were the Galaxians. Then came the Galgas. Now, there's a new threat in the galaxy called the Gal Plus Empire. This third generation of aliens has stolen our secret weapon called the Head Blaster. You must find it and recapture the Head Blaster and uncover its secrets. There are three races of aliens, each more difficult than the than the last. Oh, so Galaxian takes place in the same canon as Galaga? Oh, I'm saying it's Ga Plus. Really? Oh, it is Ga Plus. <laughs> Ga -pl I like my version better. You know, it's Galaga Plus, Gal Plus. Ga okay, so Zaku, Loot, Cap, Addo, Queen. Oh, okay, it's their different forms. Falling Star, Bounce Fly. The Secret Fighter. Nobody tell Sakurai. Mystery character A, B, and C, D. Okay. I, I want to call it Gal Plus because, you know, Pack Plus, there's three letters there. Oh. Entering the warp drive. Oh, wait. No, this isn't the warp drive. I'm in the tractor beam. <laughs> Alright, let's play. <laughs> let's play some game before somebody passes out. <laughs> let's see what it's like using... Using the phalanx beam. Still got the... Rainbow stars. Oh, here we go. Parsec one. Oh, wow, they're already diving at me? How do we use my beam? Oh. Oh. Oh, I gotta sh Oh, yeah, I remember. I have to shoot it when it they're diving. Yeah, it's that some really high energy right off the bat. So I, I missed getting a part of my ship there. Oh! <laughs> Why are the explosions in these games so Oh, wait! I can move! Oh, wow! That's new! I'm not stuck at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> yeah, I could go up! <laughs> God, I wanna- I wanna stay to the bottom, though. Holy shit. That was over way, way faster than I anticipated. They expect you to know Galaga here. You, they, they, no weenies allowed here. You better be good at Galaga. Let's try and get another part of the ship. Oh my god. It's kind of mean that they dive right at you instantly. Oh my god, that almost got me. It looks like everything dies in one hit, though. No boss, Galaga. 
Okay, there's the queen. Oh, okay. We gotta try and get it. Oh. Oh, she takes two hits. Come over here. I got three. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's awesome. You're all mine now. Now I feel like I can take on these hordes. Oh, shit. Never mind. I just have a normal double ship. <laughs> oh, now I have no ship. Damn, th th this is hard. <laughs> I like it, though. <laughs> Oh my god. How am I supposed to get 50,000 points? I can barely clear the first... first board. <laughs> oh wow. And then on top of doing the dive bombs in the second wave, they're they're doing the um they're they're shooting initially. Okay, it's got to be when she's diving. Oh. Oh, and she left. Of course she did. I see what kind of ruler she is. Doesn't want to die with her people. Come on, we gotta at least beat Parsec too. Maybe we don't beat Parsec 2. Maybe we're just doomed to be... A filthy, like, Parsec 1... Pleb. Oh! What was that? I didn't even see the... the missile go away. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's hard. That is hard. That's cool though. I like getting the the tractor beam and just grabbing everything. That'd be so satisfying. But then, you know, you, you they're just as expendable as you are. All right. Away we go. Now let's go play another another uh, ship shooter. Let's go play Xevious. So I saw something earlier. Xevious is important in Japan. How so? That's some pretty damn good graphics. That's for sure. It's older than you think. 1983. Oh, there's a keychain. And there were dice inside? Oh, the first scrolling shooter. God damn, if that's true, that's crazy. That's a whole whole genre. Certainly a title a title you you would want to have. Mm -mm. Stonehenge, a huge structure in England. Ancient people were able to forecast the exact date of the solar eclipse on these stones. Oh no. The Nazca lines. The Moai. Are these all the things the aliens are doing? 
tablet of pound code, the Sphinx, <laughs> the pyramids, with plenty of monoliths from Monster Rancher around them. Pencil racer ruler pencil case. Oh, it's so cool. Little novelties. People should bring that bring that back and like you know stock your local Chuck E. Cheese or Dave and Buster's with it. People could have never built anything. It must have been aliens. Well, that looked more like the aliens were taking it rather than rather than them building it. If I if I will be honest. <laughs> Ancient aliens. Ancient aliens mindset. Oh, must have been aliens. <laughs> Hashtag aliens didn't like white people. Alright, got a flyer. Go faster. There we go. Get some mild enjoyment out of it. And there's the PC board. I hope we're in the cockpit when we get to the exhibit. I was in the arcade machine. Put pop cards, pop cards. I guess they don't want to maybe like do false advertising, or if they even have them. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to like find a maybe a scan of them online if somebody would have them. All right, control your ship, the Soul Valu. See, it was a shooter. It had beautiful graphics and a variety of gameplay that allowed you to destroy the enemy both flying and on the ground. It also has many secrets. I don't know any of them. I just know from the uh, Namco Museum DS, uh, you would literally be able to unlock Super Xevious by going into the game settings and just turning on, like, there's a little set that says Super Xevious, and you just tap it and you would unlock <laughs> Super Zevious on the main menu. <laughs> so here are all of our enemies. Oh yeah, the spinning blocks. Grubda. <laughs> Actually, isn't that a game in this? Grubda? That sounds familiar. Yeah, shoot things that are ahead of you and bomb the ground. I know how to play Xevious. I'm not as good as it as I am Mappy, but... Can play it. Obey the orb. Orbs. They look like Spyro Dragon Eggs. Yeah, this is one of the bases. I sure hope they don't hit me with it, though. I'm uh, Hit me, though. I'm trying to play Xevious here. Sol Valu, please. Wait just a moment. I need to get a high score. All right, Xevious. <laughs> Oh yeah, this track this track is a little annoying. But you know, the graphics and gameplay make up for it. When I was younger, I could never figure out that you had to bomb the shit on the ground for some reason.
Doing good so far. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe it, I just couldn't comprehend the depth. Oh, wow. Did they just start me over at the front of the level? Oh, no, I think we're, we're ahead a little bit. We got the moving stuff now. Get ready for me to fail in uh, trajectory. See? It's like barely two notes or you know like one loop wow how did that how did that hit that moving one oh wow I could I could go off screen here your bullets can't hurt me they probably can Oh, here we go. The big rotating, rotating blocks. Great, great sprite work. That is, that is so good for the time. Undeniably be spinning, yeah. Oh, that's a tank! Or some kind of griff. Oh, look! There are the Nazca lines. I wish I could bomb it. Stop Weirko Jurassica from becoming a thing. Ooh, oh! I tried to thread the needle. Sweet, got one up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's what I liked about it. The ooh! Oh shit. Yeah, it just o overrides the sounds completely. Also shit, there was the boss. I guess we gotta try and beat it. I'm not confident, though. I can only beat one level of this game. Also, this is one of those games where holding the button doesn't... <sighs> doesn't, uh, shoot far enough. Yeah, power-ups would be really nice. Also, wow, look at this. Oh no, I can't... I thought it had, um... I thought it had uppercase and lowercase. Does the menu have an auto-fire option? Difficulty level normal. Put it to easy. Hardest. Game score. 
Oh, game screen. Nah, no extra option for... It doesn't really look like we have good options for controller. I mean, I could maybe maybe make a you know make a turbo hotkey, but you know, I'm not I'm not like dying for it or whatever. We're just here for some cursory looks at some at some arcade games. We could come back to them some other day. We'll definitely be doing that with uh, Druaga once we once we get there. Okay, that was fun. Now we got to go into the ones that I've never I've never heard of. So we got. Oh, there it is, Grob Grobdo Grobda. Is that a spinoff of Xevious? And then this one with the dragon. Hmm. Let's save the dragon for last. I gotta know what what this what this spinoff is, if it is one. Oh, we got trading cards. Used for a poster, oh, okay. Yeah, but games like track and field for sure. Oh my god. New new thing, we should start retroactively making arcade machines with <laughs> with uh turbo buttons at the ready. Alright, there's the pop car, looking pretty good. Is this like the tank version of Xevious? Is that what I'm getting here? Are we gonna play the Grobdo was that tank thing, right? If so, that's some cool world building. The Namco Cinematic Universe. Alright, pamphlet. Or wait, is this like an arena shooter? Okay, let's look at our PC. Yep, still can't make anything of it. I bet there are some nerds out there that would know each, like, little part. I used to take some, uh, like, actual, like, physical networking classes, and I know how to solder stuff. But I couldn't, I had, to, I was always following a, a guide. I, would, I wouldn't know the first thing if, if you just dropped it right in front of me. Okay, what tips can you give me? Destroying enemies, destroy enemies as soon as possible. You don't have it. So you have more fun. Wow, you, a good tip. Kill people. Kill your enemies. It'll make the game easier. Chain explosions? Okay. The fortress gun battery required many shots to be destroyed. However, if you wish, you can advance the next round just by destroying the enemies. Okay, so we have options. Interesting. Here, maybe you can give us the lore. Destroy all the enemies in the area with your beam or shield to advance to the next round. 
Grobda was a tank shooter released in 1984. It was decided that Grobda, one of the characters that appeared in ZV, should have its own game. There you go. There you have it. In the year 20XX AD, the world has evolved into a military society where tank warfare is the most popular sport. You must battle against four types of tanks in various arenas. Can you survive long enough? You just might become the next arena champion and rank in the top 10. Yeah, why Gr Grobda specifically? <laughs> did, did they just like its name? I mean, Grobda is fun to say. It sounds like I'm trying to, t to say a type of cheese, but I don't know. <laughs> Honey, could you pick up some Grove Dove from the store? Green Flosser? Oh my god, they know how to floss. The extra life is just a G. Oh wait, G for Grove Dove. <laughs> So there's the shield. Can we use that to reflect bullets, or is that just to protect us? Do this like RZ. <laughs> I-I wonder who won that speedrunning contest. They held a speedrunning contest, and the winner would get a bunch of signed merch and their own, like, USB CDI spoon controller. It was crazy. In RZ Pink. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna have Grobdo watching over us as we play. And so, are we playing as Grobda or the pilot in Grobda? Yeah, we, we can't disappoint him. Maybe, maybe, hey, maybe I'll be better at this than I am at Xevious. Who knows? Okay, battling one. Oh, holy shit! Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Grobda fucking got ripped. <laughs> I'm the fourth ranker. <laughs> oh my god. Can I go in for some more, please? Yeah, no, uh, it's like, get ready. Like, you, you wanna freeze, freeze the game for me? Get ready. <laughs> Stuck by my own get explosion. Ready. Okay, why do they get, okay. I feel like I'm at a bit of a dis- or I'm a bit of an advantage here. How come all of the other tanks can only shoot singular missiles, but Grobda is over here shooting the fucking, like, those rainbow lasers Asriel had <laughs> in Undertale? Hopes and Dreams plays. Full blast. Oh god, get away. <laughs> I think I like this more than Xevious. This has just like that America energy. <laughs> oh, I'm the fourth ranker again, guys. Yay. This is the most American arcade game in the collection by by Japanese people. What did Hideo Kojima work on this? 
Oh yeah, I got I gotta see one more round. Okay, my shield has its own energy. Can I like quick shield? Can I parry? Can I parry in the tank? And they said in the lore that this is a sport now? Yeah, are we just, are we just like doing tank combat for sport? Before tank, 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 we had this. Oh! <laughs> Blood sport, yeah. Oh my god. You know, I'm <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. It's, it's too fast paced. It's too fast paced. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. You know, we were shit talking why Grubda, of all people, <laughs> deserved to get his own game. <laughs> if this is what we got, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> I I want to like spring that on somebody. Hey, you want to play? You want to play Grubda? It's like what's Grubda? <laughs> Was that satisfying for you, Grubda? <laughs> give him a little, give him a little pet on the head. You happy about that? You're happy that some people are seeing your game now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> imagine if that was two-player. Like, cooperative two-player and you could kill each other. <laughs> a, a game to ruin your friendship. Okay, this is Dragon Buster. Never heard of this, but... If it's got dragons, it's gotta be cool, right? Oh, is this a, is this a side scroller? Kind of looked like um, kind of the bad example. Kind of the that screen those screenshots were reminded me of the the like sn the not the SNES board the NES release of of like Dragon Slayer. I'm assuming this is going to be a lot better. Postcard. Looks like some Final Fantasy XIV art. Something out of Heaven's Ward. <laughs> All right. What 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 um tips can you buy? Eighties fantasy art. Yeah, that's an aesthetic. Okay. Use these attacks to kill enemies quickly. It's not easy to master these at first, but these attacks will do twice as much damage as normal attack. So, thrusting and stabbing. Okay. Don't use your jump attack to kill the boss, or you might get poisoned by accident. And then at first you should attack the boss. Thrusting and stabbing attacks, then finish killing the boss with a normal attack. Yeah, is that a, Oh, there's the dragon. Attack the dragon's weak point. Every dragon has a weak point, and you should attack it to kill the dragon. What's the weak point, then? Is this, like, Smaug? <laughs> He's got, like, a, a single scale I need to look for? <laughs> attack the enemy and its weak point. You can defeat the cyber demon by shooting it. <laughs> All right, we got our instruction card. Also, is this before or after um, Druaga? Because maybe you're about to play something that's like more like ironed out Druaga. Now that Druaga isn't ironed out, I just you know. Maybe this will feel like something, something that'll be a bit more, a bit more straightforward. 
that just you know the map the map exploration yeah it looks a lot more actiony than than Jiraga certainly got some bigger bigger sprites okay do we have lore for this we gotta have lore there's gotta be something Okay, Clovis enters and explores the dungeon to reach the dragon, which appears at the last area of each dungeon. Kill the dragon with the sword or the magic items to go to the next round. Dragon Buster was an action RPG released in 1985. It had a good storyline and introduced the vitality system, the level up system, and worked by collecting items. The land had been conquered by the evil fire breathing dragon and his minions. He doesn't get a name. Legend says that a brave warrior will come and slay all of the dragons and free the land. You must help Clovis Clovis complete his quest and rescue Princess Celia. Yeah, what is that? It's like, oh, it had a good storyline. Mm -hmm. Is that just like what people said? I mean, honestly, people probably said that Super Mario Brothers had a good storyline. We didn't really have standards back then. Okay, well, here's Clovis. A oh, little sprites. Okay, so wait. She has... She has princess dress and then summertime. Oh. Oh! Where does that come in? What code do I have to put in to see that? The bishop? Oh my god, his eyes. Fafnir? Wait, that's supposed to be Fafnir? That's a Diplodocus. <laughs> I'm sorry, damn code. That's a Diplodocus. Skeleton. A golem. Holding the spoon. I know, Sai. <laughs> I almost thought that said testicle. Julio Crawler. Crawler. Leapin. <laughs> bat, bat, bat. So many bats. Eiffel, Will of the Wisp. Snake. Stingray. Slime. Okay, here are the things Fireball, Fireball Special, Shield, Super Sword, Crown. Scepter. <laughs> Missing an S. Game Shark. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Imprisoned from Skyward Sword. And there's Dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> Once again, what is it with us, like, these collections having really cool games in them? And just, they're, they're like, nobody knowing about them. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, there's a sword over there. Oh, shit. Oh, why is the... We don't know if it's good yet. Well, the sprite work is pretty good. At least judging on that front. So yeah, there's some depth there. The sword's in the background. And yeah, there's the dragon. I gotta say, most of these exhibits have been have been kind of bad, or at least I, I've been I've been spoiled by the third game. Which oh, they're so good there. <laughs> and we'll get, you'll get to see them soon. We're gonna play all these in order. All right. What is Dragon Buster like? I got high hopes for this. I like my RPGs. Hmm. Oh, I get to pick a level. Okay, let's go to the castle. Castle Ruins. Okay, I can sprint. I've used up all my fireballs. 
Okay. I gotta scroll a fireball. Oh shit. Gollum! Okay. Alright. And I get healed when I'm on the overworld. Okay. So now we're in the crypt. Good, no fall damage. Oh, I can I can clash blades with him. That's cool. I'm learning the thrust. Yeah, sword play. Oh! Die, Fafir! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, get me out of here. What the hell is that? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like the music. Oh. Oh, here he is. I have a double jump. His movement is so fluid! Alright, we have bested the dragon. Oh, our princess is in, a, is in another castle though. Okay. Is that the Tower of Babel? I'm sorry, am I gonna go to the Tower of fucking Babel? Oh my god. Clovis does not give a shit. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? This is this is this is how melee builds in Terraria feel. <laughs> Just run forward and smack it. <laughs> oh, the princess is dead. Ooh, potion. This is kind of cool, though. Oh! Cursed Blades! I see what they were going for here. Oh, there we go. Wait, how do I do that? <sighs> okay, yeah, let's go to the Tower of Babel. It said that we can level up. That was in the... That was in the... That was in the... Thing. I don't know how we level up, though. Just from fighting? I don't see an XP gauge. Oh, God. Uh, they're juggling me! Do the down step! There we go. I get good health potion. Yeah, fuck wizards. I'm trying. Oh, wait. I keep hitting- I keep hitting the door. I think I have to put in... Fighting game inputs.
Maybe I have to be high enough. I love this dragon, though. I will say I'm, I'm glad that the dragon isn't a disappointment. Oh no! Oh no! The snake is... The snake is sucking me dry! Get off me, snake! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is kind of growing on me a little bit. Three again. Oh! Ah, uh, the bishop! Gollum looks more like an ogre. Oh, we got a rupee. Uh. <laughs> what? what are these guys doing? Stop it! Oh, okay. Maybe I need to use my scrolls on the wizards. How many levels is it until we save the princess? Like, um... <laughs> really, a valid question. While also, fuck you, um... Oh, I got the shield! It just looks like I have a new shirt. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, slime. Bad wizard. No, Clovis. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that was kind of cool. In a, in a, in a weird way. It definitely a lot more action, action-y. I'd also like to see a speedrun of that. What's the, what's the best state, what's the best way to do it? It's also like, you know, we didn't get prompted for... We didn't get extra lives. So... It's just one... One coin a run. Okay. I think we've seen everything here. I guess we can... Let's, like, check the lounge to see if there's anything new. Are these new copies of the magazine? Yeah, we did six games. Mappy, Super Pac-Man, Gal Plus, Xevious, Grobda, and Dragon Buster. That's six. The, we, these collections do get less games as they go on, though. I think four and five only have five games. Somehow I forgot Super Pac-Man happened. Yeah, me too, dude. Me too. Special comic that was starring Namco's characters. The History of Pac-Man. The featured game was Shadowland. Interesting. Oh, we got some extra stuff over there, too. I don't remember the lounge being in 3, but it's been so long. A Zambo game, hardware support, R&D staff, cool.
cool. Game featured was Dragon Spirit. Dragon Slayer 4. It, it's also super fun seeing, you know, that they just embraced Pac-Man being their mascot so early on. He looks so he looks so funny in this pro, in this promo material is what I'm trying to get at. You know, they really took the liberties with that that um that mouth moving mouth featured game Pac-Mania. Good one. The featured oracle is what is Namco? And look, we had some we had some uh Miss Pac-Man on the cover. Ugh. I miss her. I just do. Alright, what is this? Visual file? Ooh, we get concept art? Oh, sweet. Okay, there's Eiffel. Crawler. <laughs> we didn't get to see Cave Shark in game. The Golem. <laughs> God, it looks like an it looks like an alien gray. Stingray, snake. Yep, that's definitely a snake. Testol. Bat. The leap. <laughs> oh my God. That is a creature. <laughs> Yeah, that's a wizard. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful skeleton art. Amazing. There's the bishop. There's there's Fafnir. And the dragon. Different angles. Okay, that's sick. Do we get some do we get some other one? I saw another one. Oh sweet, we get one for Xevious. Solvalu Sheanite Toroid. Torkan, Jara, Cappy, Terizi, Bara, Solbak and Logram, Domogram, Oh, nice, the map. Wait a second, where's the art of Grobda? They don't have concept art of Grobda? I was gonna overreact to when Grobda came up. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, look at that. They have a different, they have a different selection of drinks. And the jukebox is a different color. Now, hold on. I'm... I'm just gonna play this. I know it's like the thing, but like maybe there's some added games near the end. Yeah, Dragon Buster was a year after Druaga. Okay, yeah, still the same thing. These are gonna get, you know, the, the gap is gonna get a little bit bigger as it goes on. So... We'll, um, we'll have... Maybe there's be some extra stuff. And all fair is fair. You must see the credits. 
Oh, but that was fun. I, I like I like getting to play some mappy for you guys. And <laughs> Grobda is the sleeper hit of of this collection. We have to we have to eat we have to pick a certain game that is that is like the sleeper hit. Like maybe next time I'm gonna learn how to play Fozon and we'll, and and that'll be the sleeper hit because I'm pretty sure like everybody knows all of the games in in um collection three except for Fozon. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, Grobdo wins. Grobdo wins. We had we had Toy Pop last time. So, um, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just get back up to the main floor. We're actually not even, like, going down. Let's go say goodbye to the robot secretary. Goodbye. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, once again, uh, go out and play Grobda. If you see a Grobda arcade cabinet, you should take you should take it. You should take it from the location. This is a joke. Don't steal. But we got we got three more games at least to play through coming up. So um, I'll see you guys when we get to collection number three. This has been a whole lot of fun. Keep it real.